at the Butzel Family Center for the ninth annual Safe Summer Youth Jam and Family Health Fair. Cecilia Walker works tirelessly each year to make sure this event is a success. First of all, we're in one of the poorest communities in the city of Detroit, and our young people look forward to the annual Safe Summer Youth Jam. This is the ninth year. Three years ago, we started collaborating with Adult Wellbeing Services, and they do a health fair. So we wanted to make it a family event for seniors, for young people, for adults to get health and safety information. And we just want to ask that everyone pledge to please be safe for the summer. And our young people need something to do. Idle time is the devil's workshop. So the, our recreation center here, we provide a safe haven for our young people. And we try to encourage them to be safe and to stay away from drugs and violence and to do well in school. And our way of rewarding them is to give them away free bikes and prizes that are given to us or donated by our sponsors. I want a bike because I, I put, they put my name off the raffle. Cajun is in my kindergarten class and um, they put their names in a raffle and she won them. She was lucky enough to win a bike, right Cajun A? Mayor Bing committed to donating two bikes, and he also showed his commitment to Detroit's recreation centers. Nothing is more important for me this summer than making sure that our young people in particular have a safe place to go. Walker is thrilled to have the mayor's support. It's vital to have the support of your leadership. Uh, mayor Bing has said time and time again how much recreation was pivotal in his life and he understands what recreation means to young people as well as to adults and seniors. So it means absolutely everything to have his support that he understand how important it is. Not only, you need to have a well-balanced life and recreation affords and allows you an opportunity to do that. Detroiters had the chance to get free health screenings thanks to adult well-being services. We provided HIV screening uh, testing today, so it's just uh, for the whole family to get, get health information. It saves lives. Uh, per, you know, early, early detection saves lives for all types of, of, uh, of, of screenings, whether it's blood pressure, whether it's HIV, whether it's cholesterol, it can save a life. We've, we've seen that happen where someone's blood pressure was so high and they came to a health fair. So we just encourage people to come out, get the free screenings. If you don't have a doctor, we have information about health insurance and about health care. So it's a lot of good information and also fun for the children. Fun. That was the word of the day as the kids had a chance to enjoy all kinds of activities. We get to get our face painted, we get kind candy, we got on the jumpies, and that was it. We got to play basketball, eat kind candy, and have fun with my friends. The kids weren't the only ones participating in the face painting. We got our face painted, balloons, ate, played with other kids. It was nice. Some of the children got a chance to shine and perform a special African dance. Funga, I see, I see. They did a funga and a little bit of that. They're just things they do to welcome, welcome dance and stuff for the little ones to do so that they can be involved in school too because they have things for all ages. There is no doubt that the Butzel Family Center is a jewel to this area. It means a lot of great things. You know, it's good to have things in their own neighborhood. You know, usually it's not like that these days, so it's good to have a lot of things like this in their neighborhood. I think it's just good for the kids, period. It's good to say, okay, you've been, you've been at school all year. This is what you earn for, for, for being at school all the time and working hard and being dedicated. And it's good for the community because it's not just Garvey students here. It's just this whole community here. Mayor Bing certainly agrees. This is a jewel that we got to keep supporting. Despite the iffy weather, Miss Walker says she estimates a thousand people showed up. If you weren't able to attend and want more information on how you can receive a free health screening, call 313-925-1135. Reporting in the community, I'm Elise Ramey.